Hi and welcome to the Total Knee Replacement Support Group YouTube channel. My name is Tony Maritato. I am a licensed physical therapist and in this video I want to share a journal article, a research article talking about manipulation under anesthesia for those of you who are having challenges regaining your knee flexion and extension. I know this is a popular topic. I know there's a lot of frustration around this topic. And so I've been working on a series of videos just trying to show you different perspectives and share information regarding an MUA manipulation under anesthesia. So let me share my screen. Let's jump into this little research article. This was published on PubMed. It is available for you to watch the full article, read through it. But basically, knee manipulation for reduced flexion after total knee arth arthroplasty is timing critical. A lot of patients will ask me, well, what if I wait? What if I, you know, is there a limit to how long I can wait? So I'm just going to go through the background and the abstract, and then you guys can watch or read the full article. I'll post it in the description down below. But... Reduced flexion following knee arthroplasty may compromise a patient's function and outcome. We know that for sure. This study was done in a high volume practice over a long period of time. So what they did was they took all the total knee patients from a single physician, a single surgeon in the group between February 1996 and June 2015. The criteria was the patient had to have less than 75 degrees of flexion post-op and they had to have 30 degrees more flexion pre-op. One of the big indicators of what your range of motion will be after surgery is what your range of motion was before surgery. So for example, if an individual had um, 70 degrees of flexion and pre-surgery, they had 100 degrees of flexion, they would qualify to be part of this study. And what they did was they wanted to address the impact of timing. So they broke the participants up into three groups. Group one had the manipulation under anesthesia in less than 90 days from surgery. Group two, between 90 and 180 days. Group three had it after 180 days. So those are pretty significant timeframes. Um, 62 out of 62 patients out of 7,423 underwent the manipulation under anesthesia. So less than 1% of this particular surgeon, uh, surgeon's patients had the MUA. And then as a result, let's just jump to the conclusion here. They suggest MUA is an effective treatment for reduced flexion following total knee arthroplasty and should be the first line of management, I don't like this, after failed ph physiotherapy. Now physiotherapy is the same as physical therapy, we'll come back to that in a second. It can still have benefit beyond six months but the gains become less effective. So what they determined was um, sooner is better for sure the 90 day window is probably the best possible outcome, but you could wait beyond 90 days. Now, I had a great interview with Dr. James Abbott in which we talked about manipulation under anesthesia, and he tends to be an advocate of having it done sooner rather than later. Um, on my channel, there's lots of discussion around MUA. I'm gonna create a dedicated playlist so you can kind of go through all of them. But what I would encourage you to do if you're thinking about this, if you're frustrated with the range of motion that you have right now, is look for articles in PubMed. PubMed is going to be one of the best resources for you. These are peer-reviewed articles. They're, they're part of the medical literature. And really, you're going to have the best chance of a non-biased opinion reading this kind of research. Now, it's the, not the most exciting stuff for you to read but it's the most beneficial and it's not gonna be colored by commercial interests. So if you have questions, I wanna share a couple more discussions on MUA, the frustrations around range of motion, what kind of questions you should be asking if you're considering having a manipulation under anesthesia and what the next step is for you if you've had surgery and you don't know what to do to get that range of motion back. Otherwise guys, thanks as always. I'll catch you on the next video.